Hello, happy Sunday, happy Easter. This is part two of my adventures in Ryzen 5. I haven't got around to building this thing yet because my, my daughter wants to do it and just haven't had time, but I have been tinkering. I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on with this. I got it up and running with four sticks of RAM. It won't go above DDR2400. It will if you do two sticks of RAM, but I'm going to run it with all four. Um, I've also, as you can see, I've got it running at 3.8 gigahertz. And that's at 1.35 volts stock cooler. Right now I've got the Ida 64 stress test going where it's stressing all 12 cores there. Max temp is up to 84 right now. But it's it's rock solid stable at 3.8. Maybe not. Let's down this to 3.7. Well, it was running stable at 3.8. But now I gotta go in here because you saw it, it crashed. So, yeah, it's a 3.8. DDR is 2400. Now, one thing I'll say is this board, when I first got it in my previous video I hadn't updated the BIOS and it wouldn't boot at all with four sticks of RAM so I updated to that BIOS version there from April 10th now it likes four sticks of RAM and they also added this memory try it feature where you can try different speeds and different timings quite easily. This is the current setting I got it at. 14, 16, 16, 16, 36. But let's, let's tone down the CPU frequency to 3750. I don't want to go above 1.35 volts because of the stock cooler. Let's give this a shot. And with the new BIOS, it doesn't take quite as long to post. It still takes a little while, but it's a little quicker. Okay, we're in Windows. Aye. Let me get some things going here. Let me get my hardware monitor. Idle. The CPU is running around 43, 40. Oh, yeah, we are. Now it's down to 36, 35. Yeah, we are. So the stock cooler does do a pretty good job. I'm taking two. It's not in one week. We're going to keep them for they want to watch them, then we'll give them one. Okay. So you can take. So Ida. Start stressing this thing. 
Yeah. Okay, so now you can see all the cores are loading up there. Now I've read in the AMD community that the Ryzen chip can handle up to 95C. So, gotta pay attention to these temperatures. Right now, with all the cores stressed, it's at 74 max. It's going up. As long as I don't go above 85, it should be fine. But I'm going to let this run for a while. See if we're stable at 3.75. But so far, this. This B350 with the latest BIOS is, is working pretty dang good. Alright, bye for now. Okay, so I ran that for a little bit there, a few minutes. The CPU tip temp did max out there at 94, so I stopped the test, but the computer didn't crash. And that test is stressing all 12 threads at 100% which is I don't know how often you can do that in a day-to-day -day operation of a PC but it appears to be stable I'm not going to say rock solid again it died when I said that last time but there you go 3.75 gigahertz Let's run a quick CPU benchmark, what do you call it, Cinebench. Then, then maybe I could show you guys what this thing can do with games. Um, I was going to do a video when it's all built and in the case, but just haven't had time and I would strongly suggest if you're gonna find your max overclock to do it outside of a case like this it's much easier oh and another thing when finding your max overclock and what your memory can run at if it dies and you gotta clear the BIOS right next to the battery you have to get a jumper. The board doesn't come with one, but you put a jumper on those two pins, power it on, let it run for a few seconds, power it off, and it'll clear the BIOS. Just make sure when you power it back on, you take the jumper off. Or you can remove the battery, that's another way to clear the BIOS. Or you can be crazy and hold a screwdriver on those two pins and power it on and close that circuit that way but it's best to use a jumper I have this from an old motherboard if you have an old ID hard drive they have jumpers on them too anyway let's see we scored 12.39 on Cinebench. So yeah, this is a, so far this thing's running really, really nice. And I guess next, it's probably going to have to be next week. Because my daughter wants to do the build and I'm going to help her, you know, build it. And once it's all in a case, then we can do some uh, gaming stuff 
I have played GTA 5 and Witcher 3 and uh, for honor on here and they all run really good so they're very smooth so this setup with the RX 480 Ryzen 5 1600 and 2400 megahertz RAM I think you'll be I think you'll be happy with this setup just make sure you update the BIOS on this thing first and foremost update the BIOS which is actually pretty simple. You do it in the BIOS. There's a button you click to update your BIOS. Get the file, put it on a flash drive, tell the BIOS to use that file, and should be good. Anyway, see you on the next one.